everyone. You've been so wonderfully patient with us, and I'm very grateful. But I'm happy to say that we can now announce next season's Schubert Club International Artist Series at the Ordway. The season begins on November 2nd and 3rd with recitals featuring the wonderful violinist Augustine Hardlich, whose debut recital for Schubert Club five years ago is still very, very fresh in my mind. Augustine is joined by pianist Orion Weiss, and their program includes music by Ravel, Beethoven, and a work by the interesting American composer Stephen Hartke. Schubert Club's featured artist for the 21-22 season will be the Icelandic pianist Vikingur Olafsson, and he performs on the International Artist Series on Sunday, January 9th. Vikingur's recordings of music by Bach, Philip Glass, Rameau and Debussy have been played a lot in my home, so it makes me really very happy he'll be playing live on the Ordway stage this next season. Canadian bass baritone Gerald Finley is a singer I've long admired. I looked back through past programming and was really quite surprised to learn that this will be his Schubert Club debut. To be candid, I have been trying to invite him to the Schubert Club since the beginning of my tenure in 2012, but for one reason or another, it hasn't previously worked out. Together with his regular recital partner, pianist Julius Drake, Gerald Finley's recital on January 27th will include songs by Schubert, Hugo Wolf, and the US premiere of a new piece by Mark Anthony Turnage. On March 8th and 9th, British pianist Isaac Akana Mason will return to the Ordway, this time as a solo recitalist. The eldest of seven extraordinary musical siblings, many of us first got to hear Isaac perform with her brother, cellist Sheku Kana Mason in December 2019. What a memorable recital that was. And to close next season's International Artist Series, Schubert Club has invited clarinetist Anthony McGill, principal clarinet of the New York Philharmonic, and a musician whose solo career has blossomed enormously over the past couple of years. Some of us heard Anthony perform Brahms and Mozart clarinet quintets a few years ago on the Music in the Park series. If you didn't get to hear him then, you will not want to miss him this time around. I can promise you his sound and musicianship are quite exquisite. The prospect of presenting a series of live recitals at the Ordway next season is really exciting. And the lineup of artists is, I think, mouthwatering. I'd like to thank Schubert Club's Artistic Committee for their support and involvement in all our concert programming, and thank you for your interest and support. We can't wait to welcome you back to our concerts.